Hello, welcome to today's immigration tidbit. Unfortunately, your husband is unlikely to be able to qualify to adjust status in the U.S. He falls within one of the few exceptions where if one is um, enters the country legally and gets married, uh, of course, you you know if you had a if you had citizenship. Uh, I'd still be telling you exactly the same thing. And, and then they'd be able to adjust status even though they are out of status. However, uh, the law uh, at some point in the past saw too many people who jump ship. Okay, I mean, that's that's what a C-1D is. He, he either came here on a plane and was supposed to transfer to another plane or he worked on a ship and he was supposed to go for less than 24 hours and he just never went back to the ship and so to prevent you know them from being benefiting from that act uh, the law specifically states if someone entered on a C1 slash D visa they are not allowed to adjust status in the U.S. so you can petition him but it won't be uh, through adjustment of status in the U.S. Um, it's going to have to be through consulate processing. Now, the question itself doesn't have how long your husband has been out of status. If he's been out of status less than 180 days, he should leave uh, so he's not subject to the three-year bar. And if he's been out of status for less than a year, he should leave so he's not subject to the 10-year bar. I strongly suspect he's been here a lot longer than that, and he's already subject to the 10-year bar. So he's going to need to do a uh, waiver of inadmissibility of the 10-year bar. Now, assuming that's the only ground of inadmissibility, that being the unlawful presence, and he doesn't have any crimes, you don't have any crimes, he doesn't have any deportation orders or fraud or anything like that, then he can file the provisional waiver of inadmissibility, uh, here in the U.S., and while waiting, can still stay with you, then hopefully it comes back approved, then he would get the consular appointment to uh, go for the green card interview, and assuming that's approved, he'd come back as a lawful permanent resident. Okay.